Hey guys, what's up? I know it can be very frustrating to level up combat sometimes, so in this video I've checked 10 different ways for what's the best method to level up your combat skills. Even if you're on a shoestring budget, if you're a beginner or mid-game, this is for you. Some strategies just cost a lot of coins but will give a lot of XP, others do both and then there's one way that will give a decent amount of XP and a lot of coins and loot as well. Little disclaimer, I already have some basic stats that give me 16% bonus combat XP. Every slayer tier gives you a boost. Before we get started, it would really help me a lot if you click the subscribe button. For this video, I've used my superior armor fully start, a liver dagger and two pets. Of course, you can use your own armor set and weapon of choice. If you are just starting out, a spicy or heroic dreadlord sword is fine. It got me to level 18 where I started using a spicy aspect of the dragons. The grammar wolf you can get for free at Shaggy's house in the spider's den. It will work for you and give you magic find even when it's not summoned. The other pet I use is a legendary wolf pet. Also a god potion that will give you 20 plus 10% combat XP and a booster cookie that will give an extra 20% of combat XP. If you can't afford a legendary wolf pet, maybe a legendary tarantula pet is an option for you since it will give you spider XP. You don't have to use all of those things, but you'll level up a lot faster if you have them. Wolves in the hub, early game. Not a lot of players go to the wolves in the hub, but if you have the grandma pet, they will give you a lot of coins because of the magic find bones. If you kill a wolf, you get bones and the wolves are pretty easy to kill. But if you are a new player, watch out for the old wolf. In 10 minutes I was able to get 7.3k in XP and 8.5k in coins. Spiders then. Spiders then has multiple caves in it, which you can find spiders with different levels of health. For this test I stayed 50% of the time in the cave with the lower level spiders and the other half in the beginning of the Arachne cave, which are spiders that have 4500 to 9000 health. The spiders drop strings and eyes that you can sell at the bazaar. If you enchant your items they become more valuable. In early game, stay at the beginning of the cave and just shoot the spiders with the dreadlord sword so you won't get killed in the first minutes. In 10 minutes I was able to get 16.3k in XP, 4300 in eyes and strings and in coins I got 21.3k, giving a total of 25.6k in coins. Zombies in the crypt. This is where the ghouls spawn. If you are just starting out, just shoot them with your dreadlord sword. In close combat you will receive too much damage and you won't be able to survive for long. The ghouls drop revenant flesh, which isn't worth much. In early game it can be challenging to kill the ghouls, but the zombies give a fair amount of XP as well. In 10 minutes I was able to get 23.4k in XP and 23.9k in coins. The end. You can access the end if you have combat 7 or higher. Most players jump down and go straight for the dragon's nest where the zealots are. The density of the mobs is actually high in the outer rings and the endermen are easier to kill. If you have trouble killing the endermen, a void walker katana can help since it will deal 150% extra damage to endermen. If you enchant it with telekinesis of course and ender slayer it will deal even more damage. In 10 minutes I was able to get 24.7k in XP, 8.3k in pearls and the drops gave me an additional 47k giving a total of 78.6k in coins. This makes it one of the most profitable runs in XP and coins. By the slayer tier 3. The slayer quest can be bought from Maddox in the hub. In this case we're going to do tier 3, Tarantula Brute Father 3 for 20k in coins. The easiest way to do this quest is in the cave at the start of the spider's den. If you go up in the cave, the health of the spiders goes up to a maximum of 1000. Sometimes mini boss will spawn giving you extra XP. The spiders in this cave is not as deadly, so the chance you will survive as an early or mid game player is higher. If you die during the boss fight, the quest gets cancelled and you have to buy a new one. In 10 minutes I was able to complete tier 3 6 times, costing a total of 120k in coins. In 10 minutes I was able to get 11.4k in XP, in strings and eyes I got 41.5k and in drops I got 37k in coins, giving it a total of minus 39.8k in coins. Sven Slayer Tier 3 The Sven Packmaster quest can be bought from Maddox in the hub after you've completed level 3. You'll be rewarded with Maddox Bath Phone that lets you start quests from your own hotbar. Sven Tier 3 is 20k to start. You'll find Sven in the park behind the waterfall and you will need a Super Boom TNT to open the cave. If you have an MVP plus rank or higher, you can get a travel scroll to the Howling Cave at the auction house. It's also a drop from the wolves in the cave. With the travel scroll you won't need Super Boom anymore to get in the cave. In 10 minutes I was able to complete Tier 3 6 times costing a total of 120k. In 10 minutes I was able to get 12.9k in XP. In Wolf Tooth and Bones I was able to get 63.5k and the drops gave me an additional 61.9k in coins, giving it a total of 13.4k in coins. This quest is barely profitable, but if you can't do Ender Slayer Tier 1 yet, it's your best choice in Slayer Quest. Ender Slayer Tier 1 
to do the Ender Slayer quest, you must complete Sven Packmaster 4 first. Tier 1 is doable for most, higher tiers are for most early and mid game players too big of a challenge, so I've included only this Ender Slayer quest in this video. Because it's tier 1, the price is only 2k to start the quest. If you want to level up the Ender Slayer level, you can do tier 1 over and over again, so you will be able to get the Juju Bow, even if you're not high enough in tiers yet. If you don't have a weapon that can one shot the Enderman, buy a Voidwalker Katana at the auction house, preferably with enchantments present. Do the quest in the outer ring so you won't be attacked by the mobs in the dragon's nest. In 10 minutes I was able to complete tier 1 5 times, costing a total of 10k in coins. In 10 minutes I was able to get 16.1k in XP, 5.3k in pearls and the additional drops got me 13.8k in coins as well, giving it a total of 23.6k in coins. This quest is the most profitable and gives the highest XP if you don't have the luxury to spend a lot of coins. Zombie Revenant Horror Tier 3 We go back to the crypt in the hub for our next layer quest. The Revenant Horror Tier 3 This quest costs 20k to start. If you have trouble staying alive during this quest, you can try using Reaper Falchion if you've reached Zombie Slayer level 3. This sword is not great in general, but it will deal 200% extra damage to zombies and you will receive 20% less damage from zombies when held. If you are not level 3 yet, the Revenant Falchion gives 150% extra damage to zombies as well. The mini bosses that spawn will give you a greater deal of combat XP, although they sometimes spawn really fast after each other. In 10 minutes I was able to complete tier 3 10 times, costing a total of 200k in coins. In 10 minutes I was able to get 33.1k in XP, 700 coins in Revenant Flesh and 65k in coins from the drops, giving a total of minus 129k in coins. This quest gives a decent amount of XP, but it will cost you a lot of coins. Zombie Revenant Horror Tier 4 Time to step it up with the Revenant Horror Tier 4. This quest costs 50k to start. It's pretty much the same as Tier 3, only the mini bosses will spawn even faster, making this quest the best option to grind combat XP. However, it will cost you a lot of coins. It is possible to get drops from Tier 4 like the Sky Blade that will sell for a lot, but the chance is pretty slim. In 10 minutes I was able to complete Tier 4 6 times, costing a total of 300k. In 10 minutes I was able to get 40.9k in XP, 500 coins in Revenant Flesh, 1k in drops, giving it a total of minus 229k in coins. Goblins in the Dwarven Mines If you have mining level 12 and completed Rice's quest, you can visit the Dwarven Mines. The lift operator can bring you down. In the goblin burrows, the goblins spawn and some of them carry bags of coins. Goblins drop a lot of items that you can sell at the auction house and because of the bags of money they carry, your purse will fill up fast. Goblins won't do a lot of damage, making it easier to survive here if you're still low on stats. In 10 minutes I was able to get 11.5k in XP, 78.8k in coins and additional drops gave me 54.2k in coins, giving it a total of 211.8k in coins. If you are in need of cash and want to grind combat XP at the same time, this is your best shot. Conclusion If you are new, go to the Wolves in the Hub or the first cave at the Spider's Den to get your combat up. If you want to level up combat and get some coins out of it, go to the End or the Zombie Crypt. If it's just about grinding combat XP, Revenant Horror Tier 4 will give you the most but it will cost you around 200k per 10 minutes if you don't get any valuable drops out of it. And as a bonus, if you are just looking for some quick cash and want to level up your combat skills while you do so, go to the goblin burrows and slay some ice walkers as well when you see them. I would really like to know your favorite ways to level up your combat XP. Please let me know in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you next time.